everyone, in this video I am creating a watercolor drawing of Poison Ivy. If you watched my last video, I did a watercolor similar to this one of Hellboy, and I really liked the um, kind of the style of it and just how it turned out. So a lot of what I liked about doing the Hellboy uh, watercolor was experimenting with stuff and I felt like I figured some things out and I learned a lot uh, just by messing around, mixing the colors and messing around with the paper. Uh, so this Poison Ivy painting is very similar to that. I'm still just trying to figure some stuff, stuff out. I, I, I'm hoping I can do at least a few more of these and really, um, really get something that I like and that I feel like is you know, no more experimenting. I've got a process to where I can create something that uh, is pretty much a finished uh, piece of artwork that I can kind of be proud of. So I started out the same way as I did with the Hellboy sketch. Um, I spent a little bit more time on the pose on this one, uh, but the pencil process is really similar. It's 6H lead, uh, it's real light. The paper is Strathmore Tone Tan Mixed Media Paper. Uh, which is real thick. It holds up well under the watercolor um, and I like the tan because I can add highlights and stuff like that with a um, white jelly pen which you'll see me do later in the video. So one mistake I made with the Hellboy drawing was the pose wasn't super great, but I went for it anyway. Uh, right here you'll see me erase her arm and kind of redraw that, which I'm super glad I did because I really like how that turned out. And it actually gave me an idea for maybe how she's controlling her kind of plant creatures and stuff like that. Um, and I'll kind of talk a little bit more about that later but I definitely feel like I spent a little bit more time on the drawing process and kind of figuring out the background um, and kind of the composition of the drawing a little bit more, even though this is still a pretty boring composition. It's still uh, just the figure in the center and everything, so. But it's better than the Hellboy one anyway. So one of the mistakes I made with the Hellboy uh, watercolor was I did the pen and ink uh, at the same time as the watercolors and I didn't build the watercolors up enough and when I went back over the stuff that I had already done the ink on it bled the ink out into the watercolors I still made that mistake a little bit of it uh, during this one when I was reworking stuff but I did a much better job of getting a lot of a lot more of my base layer of watercolor down before I got into it with the pen and ink and it, it's hard to do that you have to really um, be disciplined because you really want to see what that pen and ink is going to look like and really start flushing stuff out. Um, but I avoided it for the most part on this one so I think it turned out a little better. So how I do watercolor is all do my base layer which is just a green and I'll kind of think about light source and stuff while I'm doing that first layer. Then I just go over it again with um, a more pigmented uh, watercolor, same color a lot of times. Uh, so that green is just kind of a darker uh, version of that and I'll you know keep going over it and over it until I get the values uh, kind of worked in there and that's kind of what you're watching me do right here. Um, and my wife's like, why did you make her skin green? I'm like, well, sometimes Poison Ivy has green skin. She said she kind of looked like Incredible Hulk, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I, I did green skin because that's the version of Poison Ivy I chose to do. So, um, But right here, you can really see me add in uh, detail with the watercolors. Still no pen and ink yet, but I'm just working on my values and stuff like that, really trying not to get too dark with it. Um, I want the colors to be pretty subtle and the value changes to be pretty subtle, no real harsh blacks. So right here you see me um, start to add in the paint and ink, which this was a bit premature, but I just couldn't wait any longer. So drawing wise, 
Uh, I one thing I would have changed about her is her expression on her face is just kind of like meh. It's not. It, it, there's. It's nothing crazy. Like I wanted her to kind of look a little bit evil. I mean, she's got that huge thing growing off her shoulder, um, and you know the the scene is. I just wanted her to be scarier, and she definitely didn't look scary. Uh, so that was one thing I would have changed. I, I actually end up changing her eyes uh, from kind of just regular eyes to all black with like a white pupil in the middle. And I felt like that kind of helped me get a little bit more of that evil, scary villain look um, that I was after. Right here is where I start using the jelly pen to add highlights to everything. Uh, it just makes everything kind of pop out. Um, it gives it a lot, and same as uh, adding shading and value and stuff like that. It just gives it a more three-dimensional look, um, and I really like how that kind of those highlights turned out. So one thing I actually liked a little bit more about the Hellboy uh, watercolor than this one is I got a little bit more free with the colors, the watercolors on the Hellboy one, especially on his skin. And with this one, I, I stuck predominantly with the same kind of greens the whole time. Uh, but towards the end of this, you'll see I had a little bit of yellow uh, for more of a, like a, a, a yellowy green, um, just because everything kind of looked too um, primary primary color wise there wasn't a whole lot of fun stuff going on there now her hair is a nice contrast to the green um, so that had that going on but the greens were just a little bit flat and bland so I ended up adding uh, yellow to it and I, I felt like that really helped it out about a lot and that's something I need to be uh, something I need to work on color wise I'm not super strong with color uh, so that's one area in drawing and painting and doing these paintings uh, I really want to kind of focus on is is having interesting color schemes uh, going on not just doing you know straight up greens and, and primary colors but really mixing in more complex color schemes. So the background and everything, I kind of just went with this idea of, you know, it seems like Batman comics are always take place in some kind of warehouse. So I just went with the box crates idea of a warehouse. But I do like the perspective that I achieved on this. You're really at the ground level of like that creature, her plant creature kind of coming out at you and she's kind of above you. So maybe you're laying on the ground. Maybe you're actually Batman and you're tied up. And if you look in the upper right hand corner of this, um, Robin's up there getting eaten by one of her plant creatures. And if you follow my Instagram or actually even my last sketchbook video, I did all those uh, ink drawings of uh, Batman villains and Robin getting eaten. So this is kind of a fun little thing on that where Robin's dying again. But one thing I did like, I like the perspective of how the boxes um, and the vanishing point kind of uh, gave the drawing a little bit of depth. It's still shallow. I didn't want to do a full-fledged um, background or anything like that. I just wanted kind of that fun little thing to happen up there in the right-hand corner uh, with Robin getting in. So, um, and I felt like that uh, it added a little something to the drawing. It wasn't just a simple poison ivy drawing. It tells a little bit of, more of a story, which I always try and go after a little bit in my drawings. So overall, I was pretty happy with the way this one turned out. There's still a ton of stuff I would have done differently. Um, but like I said, I plan on doing at least a few of these with the same style, same process, all that stuff. I feel like when I want to learn something, I really need to experiment with it and really do it for a while before I feel like I get somewhere where I can actually be happy with the way it's turning out. Uh, I mean, this one's all right, but like I always say, I always feel like I can do a little bit better. 
Um, I definitely felt like the eyes helped a lot, adding the yellow and then those little pops of like red flowers in there. Kind of added a little something to it that was nice, but overall, overall piece, it's all right. It's something that I can build from and uh, continue to get better at. So anyway, hope you guys liked the video and thanks for watching. Thank you.